Hi guys, today we're going to talk about vapor pressure. And what we're going to do is we're going to read these definitions first and then we're going to explain that using these illustrations. Okay, so basahin muna natin yung ating definition. Well, vapor pressure is the pressure exerted via vapor in thermodynamic equilibrium with a condensed space, either a liquid or a solid, at a given temperature in a closed system. The equilibrium vapor pressure is an indication of the evaporation rate of the liquid and relates to the tendency of particles to escape from the liquid or solid. Okay, so what do we mean by that? We're going to explain that with this illustration here. Okay, so as you can see, we have two figure and both is having a liquid inside our containers. Okay, but the difference is that on this container, we have an open top, meaning it is exposed to the atmosphere and the other one is a closed system. Now, going back to our definition, we can see that the vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by a vapor at a given temperature in a closed system. So that means itong vapor pressure natin, as per our definition, will be applied here dito sa ating closed system. However, for this lecture, we are going to explain what is going on here if we have an open top container. Okay? So let's begin by examining what is happening in our liquid here no? sa ating dalawang container. So, let us imagine that the particles on this liquids is arranged this way. So, let's say we have particles here and particles here. Now, we can just imagine that these particles right here are the particles on the surface of our liquids. Okay? So, this will be located at the top, no? dito sa ating surface while these particles are the particles at the bottom or, or below the surface of our liquid. So, this will be the particles at the surface. Okay, and these are the particles below the surface. Now, we learned in our chemistry lessons that our particles in a liquid phase contains enough kinetic energy for molecules to move past each other, okay? So, these molecules will be moving randomly in different direction. So, we learned about that, no, sa ating chemistry lessons. So, our particles contains kinetic energy and that is enough for them to move around each other or pass each other. However, this kinetic energy is not high enough for them to completely move away from each other. So, let's say this particle, it does not contain enough kinetic energy to move away from the other particles. Because still, the intermolecular forces or energy that is bonding them together is still higher than the kinetic energy that they have in order to escape. Now, we also learned sa ating chemistry lessons about temperature, right? And we understood that temperature is actually the average kinetic energy. Okay, so let me write that here. Temperature is actually the average kinetic energy. So what do we mean by that if we say that it is an average kinetic energy. So, that means each of these particles do not have the same kinetic energy. Okay, so let's say maybe this particle will have higher kinetic energy than this one. Or it will have a very low kinetic energy. So, let's say this one have low kinetic energy and this one has a very high kinetic energy. So, at the end, what we mean in here is that the temperature that we are having is actually yung average kinetic energy ng ating particles. Okay, so to understand that, let me have this illustration. Alright, so let's say in here, 
we have our kinetic energy here. And then, dito sa middle natin, this will be the average kinetic energy. So, let's say this is the average. Okay? Now, if you're going to plot yung mga kinetic energy ng ating particles dito sa ating liquid, it will appear something like this. Okay? So, it forms something like a bell curve. So, you could learn about this, you know, what do we mean by this one, no? This is a normal distribution. Now, if you look at this, this portion right here contains particles with very low kinetic energy. While the particles right here contains particles that having higher kinetic energy. Now, is this kinetic energy will be enough para sa ating particle to escape from these particles no, na naandito sa ating liquid because this contains higher kinetic energy. So, even though they have a high kinetic energy, the probability is only higher if they are in the surface. No? Kasi natutunan din natin in our previous lectures that as particle moves and bounds to another particle or the wall of the container, there, they will be losing kinetic energy, no? So, let's say this one is having high kinetic energy. But, if it bounces with another particle like this one, okay, so there will be a decrease of kinetic energy with this particle and an increase of kinetic energy dito sa particle na to. Right? So, what does it mean? So, kahit na medyo mataas yung kinetic energy nitong nasa lower surface natin, it is quite difficult pa rin to escape because it will be bouncing with many molecules or particles that is above. So, it is easier for the particles on the surface to escape. And that will be the case dito sa ating liquid. Alright, so now let us consider this open top container here. Now, to have a better analysis of this, let us assume that our liquid here is benzene. Okay, so... At very low temperature, let's say at absolute zero, okay, in which our temperature will be zero Kelvin, or this is equal to negative 273.15 degrees Celsius. So, what is happening at absolute temperature? This is very low temperature, but at absolute temperature, the particles doesn't move. So, basically, the particles will just be staying at the bottom, no? So, let's say we increase the temperature to 30 degrees Celsius, okay? So, now we increase the temperature to 30 degrees Celsius. So, what will happen? Since the temperature is increased, so therefore, the kinetic energy of our particle will also increase. So, some of the particles will now have enough kinetic energy to escape or completely move away from another particle. So, we will start observing some particles that is escaping from our liquid phase. Okay? So, these particles are moving away because now they have enough kinetic energy. However, many of these particles will be bouncing in our containers as well. And also, some of it might be bouncing with another particles, okay, which results into decrease of its kinetic energy. Okay, So, since we have an open container here, and this is exposed to the atmosphere, the air will just continuously blowing these particles away. Okay, until such time that you will already lose all of your liquids in here. Okay, so that's what's happening if you had an open top container or exposed to the atmosphere. But what happens if we have a closed system like this one? So if we have a temperature of 0 Kelvin at negative 273.15 degrees Celsius, just like before, no, katulad ng sinabi natin kanina, 
our particle will just be settling at the bottom. And what is happening in that case is that we do not have pressure happening dito sa ating surface in here because all of our particles are just at the bottom and there is no particle escaping causing a pressure. If you remember sa ating chemistry lecture, that particles is creating pressure when it is bouncing on the surface or the walls of our container. No? Now, again, let's say we have benzene in here. Okay, para kapareho siya nung first example natin. And then we increase the temperature to 30 degrees Celsius. So, katulad nung sinabi natin kanina, no? our particle will start to move or to escape from the other particles. No? So, now it is moving away from our liquid right here. And the same as what is happening before, it will be moving in different directions. And some will be bouncing with our container, the wall of our container. And some will be bouncing with the other particles as well. And when it happens, these particles are losing its kinetic energy. And this particle is gaining kinetic energy. Okay, so since hindi siya open, so it will not be taken away by the wind or air outside our container. Now, with this process happening, some of the particles that is losing its kinetic energy will eventually come back in our liquid. Okay, so pag bumaba yung kanyang kinetic energy, it will also go back dito sa ating liquid. And when it happens, it will be difficult for it to, to escape again. Okay, so this process is continuously happening. Okay, some of the particles are going back and some particles are escaping. Okay, it will continuously happen until it reaches into an equilibrium. Let me write that here. Okay, so this is the case wherein the amount of particles going back to the liquid is equal to the amount of particle leaving or escaping our liquid in here. Okay? And with that, it is creating a pressure here dito sa ating space above our liquid. Okay, so katulad nung sinabi natin kanina, we do not have particles here earlier, so we do not have pressure. But now, because we have particles continuously bouncing in the walls of our container, we are now having pressure dito sa ating space above our liquid. And that is what we call the vapor pressure. And as you can see, the vapor pressure is related into temperature. Okay, if you go back to our definition, the vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by a vapor in thermodynamic equilibrium with a condensed space, either a liquid or a solid, at a given temperature. So that means at a given temperature, we have a specific vapor pressure. Okay, so nagbabago rin yung ating vapor pressure if the temperature is changed. In our example here, we use 30 degrees Celsius as our reference temperature for benzene. Okay, and as you can see, this also happens in solid, not just in liquid. So for example, in dry ice, Okay, so this solid material is also producing vapors. Okay, so since vapor pressure is related to temperature, a way of determining the vapor pressure is by using the Antoine equation. And this is written as the logarithm of the vapor pressure in base 10 is equal to A minus B over C plus the temperature. And this is what we are going to talk about in our next lecture video. How are we going to determine the vapor pressure of different substances at a given temperature? So with all of that and more, I will see you in our next video.
To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.